In the golden age of Hollywood, the path to stardom was often as dramatic and convoluted as the plots of the films themselves. Amid the glitz and glamour, many actresses found themselves navigating a landscape rife with power dynamics and gender biases. These women, known for their talent and beauty, were also the subjects of speculation and scandal, with rumors suggesting they used their relationships with influential men to advance their career. Join Factsverse as we present old Hollywood actresses who slept their way to the top. Elizabeth Taylor Elizabeth Taylor, a name that echoes through the annals of Hollywood history, was not just a talented actress, but also a woman of great allure and charisma. Her beauty was legendary, her violet eyes captivating, and her personal life a subject of much speculation and controversy. Her romantic liaisons were as famous as her film roles, and it was often suggested she used her relationships to climb the ladder of success. Born in London to American parents, Taylor moved to L.A. at the onset of World War II. She was soon discovered by Universal Pictures and began her journey in the industry as a child actress. But it was her personal life that often overshadowed her professional achievements. Taylor was married eight times, and her relationships were a constant source of media attention. She was linked with many influential men, including Ronald Reagan, a future president. According to a report, Taylor claimed to have had a romantic encounter with Reagan when she was just a teen and he was in his late 30s. Many would agree to the argument that Taylor may have leveraged her relationships to propel her career. But it's equally important to know that such lifestyle choices were common in the context of the era. It's also crucial to remember Taylor was more than just her romantic liaisons. She was a talented actress, a philanthropist, and a businesswoman. She won two Academy Awards and was known for performances in films like Cleopatra and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She was also a pioneer in AIDS activism and launched her own successful perfume line. Marilyn Monroe Monroe, the quintessential blonde bombshell and one of the most iconic figures in Hollywood history, has long been the subject of speculation and controversy. Her rise to stardom was meteoric, but it was also fraught with challenges and allegations that she used her sexuality to advance her career. Born Norma Jean Mortensen, Monroe was a symbol of beauty and sensuality, and her personal life was as much a part of her fame as her acting career. According to a biography by Darwin Porter, an award-winning film historian, Monroe had a fling with Rock Hudson, a leading man of the 50s and 60s, when she was still a struggling starlet. Monroe allegedly advised Hudson that they needed to seduce more influential people in Hollywood to find fame, saying, quote, both of us will have to lie on a few casting couches. That advice, as sensational as it may sound, was reportedly taken to heart by Hudson, who pursued relationships with some of the biggest stars and did sexual favors for influential figures in the industry. Monroe, too, was rumored to have had affairs with powerful men in Hollywood, fueling the narrative that she slept her way to the top. Either way, Monroe was an incredibly talented actress, a complex woman, and a symbol of a bygone era. Her life was marked by triumphs and tragedies, and her legacy continues to captivate people around the world. And Sheridan Hollywood's golden age was undoubtedly a time of glittering stars and riveting drama on and off the screen. Among those stars was the fiercely talented and breathtakingly beautiful Anne Sheridan. Born Clara Lou Sheridan in 1915, she had a potent mix of natural talent and raw ambition that eventually propelled her to stardom. But her ascent to fame wasn't devoid of controversy and whispers of scandal. There were speculations suggesting her relationships with powerful men in the industry were integral to her success. Her love life was as captivating as her on-screen performances, especially her notorious relationship with the legendary womanizer Errol Flynn, as outlined in a source from The Rake. The Flynn was notorious for his romantic exploits and Hollywood clout. His allure was irresistible and his influence undeniably powerful. When Anne Sheridan, then an up-and-coming actress, caught his eye, the connection was undeniable and a heated romance ensued. Their relationship was more than just an affair of the heart, it was a strategic alliance that boosted Sheridan's visibility and influence within the Hollywood landscape. But she was no mere puppet. She was astute and well aware of the dynamics of the film industry. Her liaison with Flynn served to provide her with an invaluable opportunity which she leveraged to amplify her career, leading her to land roles that eventually earned her the title The Oomph Girl. Grace Kelly Grace Kelly, the epitome of elegance and Hollywood royalty, was a woman whose life was as captivating as the characters she portrayed on screen. But her journey to stardom wasn't without its share of controversy and speculation. 
Born into a wealthy family in Philadelphia, Kelly's journey to Hollywood stardom was marked by her undeniable talent and stunning beauty. However, according to a biography by Wendy Lee, Kelly's rise to fame was also marked by a series of relationships with influential men in Hollywood. As a rising star, she was linked with several of her leading men, many of whom were married. Among them were Gary Cooper, Clark Gable, Ray Milland, Bing Crosby, and William Holden. These relationships, while controversial, were seen by some as a means for Kelly to advance her career in an industry dominated by powerful men. Her relationships were not without consequences. Her affair with Ray Milland, for instance, led to a fallout with his wife, who reportedly had nothing good to say about Kelly. Furthermore, her alleged affair with Marlon Brando led to a confrontation with Bing Crosby, who had also been involved with her. But her talent and charm were undeniable either way. She won an Academy Award for her role in The Country Girl and starred in several successful films, including Dial M for Murder, Rear Window, and To Catch a Thief. But her life took a dramatic turn when she met Prince Rainier III of Monaco. Despite the controversies in her personal life, she left Hollywood behind to become a princess. Yet even after her marriage, rumors of infidelity continued to follow her. Judy Garland Judy Garland, a name synonymous with the golden age of Hollywood, was a star who shined brightly on the silver screen. But her journey to stardom was marked by personal struggles, professional challenges, and a series of relationships that have been the subject of much speculation. Born Frances Ethel Gum, Garland was thrust into the limelight at a young age. Her mother, a controlling stage mom, was instrumental in shaping her into a star. Garland was signed by MGM at age 13, and her life was forever changed. Her tenure with MGM was marked by a grueling schedule, a diet of pills, and a constant pressure to lose weight. She was often making two or three movies at a time, and her health suffered as a result. Despite these challenges, her talent shined through, and she quickly rose to stardom. But her personal life was fraught with difficulties. She was married five times, and her relationships were often the subject of media scrutiny. According to her third husband's biography, Garland was frequently approached for sex by some of Hollywood's most powerful men. This, coupled with the allegations of sexual harassment she faced, fueled the narrative that Garland may have used her relationships to climb the ladder of success. But her story isn't just about her relationships, it's about a talented actress who navigated the challenging landscape of Hollywood with grace and determination. Her performances in films like The Wizard of Oz and A Star is Born are a testament to her talent and enduring appeal. Now it's time to hear from you. Had you heard the rumors about these talented women before? Let us know in the comments section below.